Oh, my name is Caroline Mukuhe Mwangi. I'm the CEO of Implanta Seedlings and Nurseries. I'm also the Youth Ambassador for Agriculture, Kiambu County, and also the Presidential Award winner for Best Youth in Agriculture 2019-2020. And welcome to Kimplanta Seedlings. We started in 2014 with a very, very tiny greenhouse, a wooden greenhouse, after I realized a niche or an opportunity in seedlings business. Well, I was farming passion fruit seedlings. We started in Riru with just one greenhouse that was holding about uh, 20,000 seedlings. Right now we have three branches. We have Riru, Makoyo, in, that is Moranga County. We also have Rombo in Kajiado. We have moved from a capacity of 20,000 seedlings to a capacity of 1.2 seedlings a month, where we are right now. Uh, what we basically do, we deal with propagation of seeds. By propagation, I mean planting. We, do, we buy certified seeds from the company. Then we plant the seeds in a tree. We normally have such trees where we plant the seeds. We use cocoa peat as our media for planting. So like this, I have a sample of uh, cocoa peat that we have used to plant the seeds. We plant one seed at a time in each hole. This tree has like 200 holes. So we plant seeds in a hole. And the media used is cocoa peat. So what is cocoa peat? Uh, cocoa peat is like soil. We normally use soil in farming outside, the regular farming. But cocoa peat is like a media used for planting. Other than using soil, we use cocoa peat because it comes free of uh, pests and diseases. It is neutral on acidity and alkalinity. We, have, we treat it on the way we want it to be, that will to the condition that we want our seedlings to grow in. And we have cost reaped huge benefits that we would never have thought would have come true. For example, the most humbling uh, award we have had is from the president as the best youth in agriculture 2019-2020. I never saw that coming and it is very humbling and it's very encouraging to the youth seeing that it has come to this point and I hope that particular award or that particular chance encourages many many youth to just abandon the unemployment circle and go into self-employment. Start where you are Start at home in the small way that you can. Then hopefully somebody will upscale your business to another level. Or through those small steps, you're going to grow that business to at least be able to employ you and another person and another person and just change the community around you. You realize as we were growing up, there wasn't much persistence into agriculture. And that's why we are having the, the issues we're having right now. People who have not studied agriculture going into agriculture, yet they, will have, they would have had a better backing if they had studied it. So what we're doing, we are running an initiative called Tunalima Young Initiative, whereby we go to schools, we establish gardens, and we let the youth, or rather the kids in school, participate in making the garden, maintaining it, so that they can get to understand how food is grown, where does food come from. That alone gives them inspiration. If we will just mentor from a class of 57, we just get two people who gain passion into agriculture, then we will have achieved towards food production in our country and also food security.